Well, we're at Runway Park here on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon. And it's, uh, well, Runway Park is the only place here in basically northern Ontario that we can ride. It's the only track between Sudbury and probably Thunder Bay. And uh, probably an hour and a half in Michigan is the next closest track. Always come out here and ride. It's open at three days during the week and on the weekend. It's, it's very important to have a. It's like a national national caliber track. Um, it's a big track, as so to speak. Uh, and then you have a riding coach like Ryan here training you because you can't do it all by yourself. It's just the, the technical side of things. It's the only place in Canada between Sudbury and Thunder Bay. It's a motocross track and I've uh, been building tracks for nine years. Um, now that I moved back to Sault Ste. Marie, I just brought what I learned for about tracks from down south in uh, Florida and Georgia and brought it up here to the Sioux. Just to make the riders all in the area um, just that much better. that I've taken the park over. It's going to be it's my second year, going into my third year. Um, the interest is growing back again and more people are starting to buy bikes. We have the, the little beginner track for um, the little guys and beginners. We got the field, we have a, I have a clay oval for ride, guys who just want to rip on a big oval. I have a sand track that's off by itself and the main motocross track. When you come out here and there's age categories from people that are five years old to people that are like 50 years old, um, it, it just makes it more fun. It's, like it's kind of like a family sport. Like, on a, on a race week and your whole family would be out there. My favorite kind of track is a sand track and this is probably one of the nicest sand tracks in Canada. And uh, from corners to the obstacles to whoops to everything, long straightaways, it's fast and it's technical. Well, I think the most important thing about motocross is you have to make sure you're, you have the proper uh, proper equipment to go out and ride. And you can't just go out there and think you're going to be amazing the first time you go ride. Like, you need to like, learn the basics, get lessons, uh, take it slow. People that go out there and go wide open, try to go as fast as they can, they end up on the ground and hurt usually. You try to stay as low as you can and go as fast as you can as you want to. Keep uh, staying the balls of your feet, squeezing the motorcycle. Just go off. You go off with some flow. You don't want to be going off a dead sailor, and you want to have some have some flow while you're jumping. I have uh, from three-year-olds. To, um, they're on little 50 bikes with training wheels, right up to 50 year olds. Our oldest, oldest rider in the community is 50 years old, still ripping it, still jumping the 100 plus foot tabletop. Yeah, and it, it's everyone, beginners to pro riders, three year olds, four year olds to 50 year olds. The thing I like most about riding is just you can always get faster. You'll never cap out at a, a speed. You can always do something faster, hit something harder. And jumping, you can always jump farther, do something different that'll make you a faster rider. So I just think the progression in the sport just makes it so much fun to ride because you'll always find someone faster. I've been very fortunate. It's uh, what I love to do, it's my passion. Riding dirt bikes and 
now that I'm not racing professionally full time, having my own track and just, I spend more time on my bulldozer, just making the track perfect. And it's so awesome just having all the local riders come out. If you're wanting to come on out, but you're not too sure, you don't, still not sure about your skill level, I also do my motocross schools and my private lessons. You just come on out. Young or old, big or small, that's it for today. Come on out and ride, Runway Park.